make it up. My dog hurt, you ain't even one of them, you ain't even see your dog hurt My homie out there on that block, he selling dog work We whipped that shit and that shit came out, it was soft first But now it's hard work, watch out for the niggas that pretend to be your dog first I knew that he would bite me, didn't even know his claws work Man, I don't get excited cause they know we killing Man, my homie just died, I remember we was chilling Put my hands up in the sky, cause this car ain't got no ceiling In the streets I still could die, cause I know it ain't no feelings You mean fuck the opposition, you gon' die, you gon' finish If I make it off a of rapping, I'ma make sure that we winning Seen a lot of tears shed, cause all my friends dead Only stay around a few, cause it ain't that many of us left Put shit up on the grave, I gotta let my dog rest Bitch, I got it off the sand, everything I do come from the heart I learned that as a man Tryna flood my wrist with diamonds, gotta worry about them bands She gon' fuck cause I've been climbing, I've been copying on trends yeah, 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 yeah. You're now tuned into me, 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 me. Million dollars worth of game. I'm Wallow 267. Right here is Gilly. The, uh, what, what I tell you about? What right. I tell you about? Right here is Gilly the Squid. Well, right okay, there is Mona, see. aka White Girl, because I call her White Girl because she look like a white girl. And my man, Tony the Closer. Let me just say now, this. Listen, man, this is brought to you by Barstool Sports. Let me just say this. Shout out to Barstool Sports. Go ahead, finish. Finish. This is brought to you. This Finish. is brought to you by Barstool Sport. No, what you got to say, man? Say what you going to say, man. Stop, um, making like stop being Tony Cock Buffer, man. No, 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 no. Don't, no. That's Tony the Closer right there. That's For not real. his name. His Fuck name is not that. You, man. You want to you keep introducing niggas like you the introducer. What I, I told you about this Oh, shit well, you want to be the introducer, huh? 20 motherfucking like episodes. Be, you want to be the introducer, I told huh? you about Yeah, all right, whatever, man. Episodes. That song of the week was Trench Baby, man, by Sim Sos, man. Check him out, man. Little young brother. Shout South Philly doing his thing, man. Shout yeah, out to Trench Baby. Yeah, that was fire. Shout out to Trench Baby. Trench Baby. Shout out to Trench Baby. Like I said, man, this thing is brought to you by Bar Stew Sports. But let's get into the sponsor, Spire, the Spire app. See, it's a lot of you young cats out there that's doing music. Me, myself, mm -hmm. I do a little intros for people and stuff, you know what I mean? I use the Spire app, because on the Spire app, you can just record right there and there. It's right there, it's an app. You go to the, the uh, iPhone store, iOS, download it. I'm talking about it's free, you go right in there, bang, let me go. You, you could do anything, you could have tracks on there. I'm talking about tracks. I'm talking about you could import tracks, intelligent sound, sound check, I'm talking about onboard, microphone, notes, cloud sharing, visual mixer, uh, you know, publish, call to action. You could do whatever you want to do. I'm talking about as soon as you do it, you can so just publish So basically, it. it's just a studio. It's basically a studio. You know what I'm saying? It's right uh, there. Spire, listen, it's, it's right there, right on your phone. At the you home. Got, right at the on the go. And don't it give you up? I think it give you up to like eight tracks. Listen, or man, you right? could it gotta give you all that. But this is the thing about it. EQ, we got everything on there. The microphone and take notes, it got everything, cloud sharing. But what's important is you could be on the bus, you could be on the plane, you could be in the rain, you could be in the snow, you could be walking down the street, you could be in the store. It's in your pocket. Mm. It's so, in so your you pocket, mean to tell me that they sock it to your pocket like yeah, a rocket? Yeah, and I use it, and, it, and it's real simple. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I'm telling you, they sock it to your pocket like a rocket, man. Mm. All you got to do is check them out, man. Listen, go into the app store. It's free. You know what I mean? For iPhones and iPads, search Aspire app at the app store and visit Isotope. I Z O T O P E dot com backslash game. Download from, and learn more. And it's just like that. And it's just like that. So you download Isotope, you learn more. Mm -hmm. Make sure you put the backslash game in. Mm -hmm. And don't forget about that. You got a studio right there. Right there. In your pocket. In your pocket. You got a pocket rocket. Let me ask y'all a question, right? Because I be on Instagram all the time, right? And I see, you know, I be seeing these captions. Because you can't always go by the pictures. Or the, you got to go by what's, what the caption reads. And I see a lot of women be saying, you know, they can only deal with a nigga that's getting a bag and, you know, the nigga, oh, you, know, you know, you know, I'm just, I see a lot of this shit going on and it, it and it just, cause one, I'm gonna just keep it real. One bitch, right? She posted that up. I ain't going to put it on all the women. One bitch, she posted it up. I can only fuck with a nigga that get the bag. Nigga got to do this for me, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like. What the fuck qualifies a woman that had that mentality? Because why would a nigga get you a Birkin bag and bitch you hurting bad? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm saying, how can you Birkin bag me? You heard, you heard. Listen, you heard what TJ. You heard what she said. City girls, she said Birkin bag. So she probably listening to the music. The music, the, city the girl music, mentality. the music. Instagram is power with these chicks. But my whole thing is it qualifications for a woman like like like. 
to get certain bags? Like, could you ask for a Birkin bag if you ain't got one? Like, right. I'm just like, asking. Like, what I'm saying is, what qualifies you for a nigga to go spend? Because some of these motherfucking bags be costing like four, five, six, the seven pussy. thousand. 15, 15. The pussy. Oh, oh, so, oh, so, oh, so. Oh, shit. Okay, give us the game. Give us yeah, the listen I mean, back. If you feel like go. you got good pussy and you. So a nigga ever you, bought you a Chanel bag? No. Your pussy oh, ain't oh. got no Pussy ain't trash. <laughs> oh, man. Your pussy ain't got no lips. <laughs> Damn, no, I'm just saying. No, like, nigga never bought me, so. So you say you ain't. So, so, so no, you're but when the is pussy it Lucy Goose? No, what I'm is saying is the pussy Lucy Goose. The pussy is amazing. I've already wait, discussed that. Wait, but a nigga that. never bought you. Wait, hold on. You just said the pussy determines we still whether you I get have time. No, I didn't she say determines. I said if you got good pussy and you meet a man that can afford that shit. Oh, so you just been fucking broke, niggas. This is I what mean, you say. You know that's her thing. You know, on my. You that's her thing. She I like. Said, the, I've been know. purchased some shit. People, I've boy, I've got nice. What's the most? What's the most money a dude ever spent on you? Twenty thousand dollars. Mm. Whoa! You must have sucked the leather. Yo, off yo, his twenty thousand. <laughs> she sucked the leather and the zippers off his dick, huh? Twenty thousand dollars. What he bought you? A house. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a Damn. cheap ass house, but he at least he spent Down it. Payment. No, Down just, payment. I'm just fucking with yeah. you. That's major. No, but seriously, if you, if women out there, if you feel like you deserve a Birkin bag, regardless if you're hurting bad. Ask the nigga for a break bag. So you could be hurting bad. Oh, if you meet a girl, if you a regular girl, if you a regular girl, you date regular guys, but then some kind of way you meet a guy Why that's you want rich. Why a five or ten thousand dollar bag if you ain't Birkins got no money to put in? Right, you ain't got no. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Why you want a thirty? Why you want thirty? Ten to fifteen, ten to fifteen, twenty. Why you want that bag? You ain't got nothing to put in it. All you got in it is some motherfucking cheap ass lip gloss, a motherfucking yeah, yeah, a motherfucking uh, your makeup kit. Motherfucking pry your fucking pair of panties. Just uh, open a bag of chips in there. They always got a bag of chips or some shit right. in their purse. I you didn't right. say, um, I just got an open bag of chips and we'll have to put in a $15,000 bag. How you going to have ask for $15,000? Listen, it's, a, it's women out here that will ask for 10000 so they go open up a business. Other women at the That's first thing saying. they want from a man with money is. A fucking Chanel. Have you ever bought a Chanel? All I'm saying is. Have you ever bought a Chanel? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's more important. Hold on, what's the Have most you, you ever spent on a yeah, chick? What's the most y'all ever spent? That you invested in a chick. Ooh. Invested. Like, 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 no, no, I'm talking about like. Blue. No, because yeah. they yeah. say Tony's the closer. Did you close out a lot of tabs at Saks? What's the most? Now listen, what's, what's the, the most? most? Tony the closer. Six figures, you know what I mean? Whoa! Real nigga shit. Whoa. Shout out to the closer. Oh, you my MCM yeah. next week, boy. Damn. <laughs> shit. Fucking closer oh, was closing out shit. tabs all over. Shut up, let the man talk. Shut up. What you say? Six figures though, right? Six I mean, admirable. But, but it was a shorty. I was the the one. Everybody still trying to figure so out. So you she spent is. six the figures. The one that fucked me. Still got and she still got blazed the, by the Millie. <laughs> so and, and, and that didn't why, work. And, and, and that's why people didn't realize why I lost my motherfucking mind. So too. you regret it? Right. So yeah, that's why absolutely. You do. Hey, look, no, I don't, I don't regret look. anything. Yo, I I would never do that again. But <laughs> really? Yeah, it would have to be like it would have to be, be something crazy. like where I would feel very secure before I would spend that type of bread. So you don't feel good about it. You feel like it was a mistake. Oh, it was. You spent six figures, and she went fucking. I'm taking it back. He's not my back. MCM. I thought you. Were, I like the hey, men that's okay that's to be what, a generous you know, man. No, 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 no. it, it was cool. He you this nigga spent six figures. The bitch still went to the other side of America. What's the most you ever spent? What's the most you ever spent? I need to know. Y'all not gonna spit that out. <laughs> They no, no, they're not no, gonna tell no, it. No, I'm just fucking with you, Tony. Oh my god! Shout out to Meek, man. <laughs> Shout nigga out to Meek, bitch. Nigga, hey, yo. nigga spent six figures on a bitch. She man. still go to the other side of America. What the fuck is going on? What's the most you ever spent? The cousins. What's up? Who the most I ever spent was shit. Because I was on your live, seeing you all the bags and shit. I was shit, on the live. Know, you know, two got 20 plus in, so I done fucked up some beef bacon. Okay. Yeah, you know <laughs> I mean, I ain't even gonna fake it, but you know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm... You ain't fuck it up. You, no, I'm, you, I'm you definitely can't say six you figures in. You can't say you fucked it up. How no, much, Wallo? He's no, no, six no, no, figures no, no, in. No, 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 wifey, though. no, 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 no. You know why I fucked it up? Why? Because this is a fucking argument me and Toot just had the other day. Right, I'm like, I spent thousands of dollars on these sneaks. Where they at? She like the brown, the brown Louis with the yeah, the, the, yeah. Where they at? I think they're upstairs. No, the fuck they not. 
They in the fucking trunk of the car. And they've been there for months. Mm. So why the fuck am I spending money on some sneaks? You don't even know where the fuck they at. They in the fucking trunk of the fucking car. So what? What the fuck you mean, so what? See, that's the problem with y'all. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how to appreciate shit. Appreciate Prime it. example. She just bought me a Louis Vuitton bag for Father's Day. Oh, Sitting right nice. there, right? Oh, that's cute. Right? Where, I know where my motherfucking bag at. Congrats. She likes her sneakers and it trunk. Women don't biggie. care. Listen, What's the most you ever care. spent? Spit it out. Listen, What's the I'm most you ever saying, spent? I'm just saying that this uh -oh, one. Oh, he, oh, he ain't going to tell it. He ain't going to tell it. Everybody told it. Tell your business. I was with him. He bought a Dior I, I, I bag. I was going to spend on April. It was like I tell needed a name. Tell your I needed to say April No, no. I'm gonna Let him tell it. What? How much? No, the Dior bag, Jane. You know what was so crazy about the Dior bag? We was on Rodale Drive. Mm. And what made me snap, me and Gillen, and we walk up to the door lock. They lock, trying to lock the door, some shit. They see me like, no, no, no. I said, what? I snapped the fuck out because I usually be chilling. I said, what? I want that, that. What? what? Oh. They seen that. They seen that thing that 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 destroy a horse. You definitely pulled out a Puerto Rican. I pulled, knot. Listen, I said, what the? We in L. A. Right? Puerto Rican knot. He pulled out old a Jose <laughs> Kipasa. You know I mean? That nigga <laughs> pulled out the old a Ole Kipasa on the now like, now. What, bitch? I'm trying to get that one. I, I don't said, know. Damn, bro, you sound like me, player. Fuck, is you playing with it? Yeah, yeah. Wallo oh, turned it up on him. Bitch, I'm no, spending like I'm trying to discriminate okay, against you. Okay, talk anyway. They try to disrespect yeah, my. Yeah, I would listen. They try to disrespect my sweats and them dirty ass vans. No, I ain't have any clothes. On it. Yeah, I did. I had some jeans on it. <laughs> What's the most you ever spent? Spit it out. <laughs> they see that nigga dirty ass vans in the Something fucking Dita sweatpants. Nothing, nothing near them. Oh, this nigga got on vans with Dita sweatpants. Nothing near them. Uh, 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 so what's the number, bro? Yeah, what's the right? number, man? It ain't no number. It's just, you know, she wanted it as a rap. It okay. ain't no way fans are Talk heavy, nigga. How much so how much you spent, nigga? Invested? I don't know. No, how much you spent, nigga? How much of that t shirt money you spent, nigga? I don't know. How much of that million dollar game have you spent, nigga? You was just on the yacht the other day. Mm. What? No, that was his birthday though. She spent the that most on him. I bought no, a nigga Xbox. Fucked up. Don't get it fucked up. She oh, I know the, she good. Oh, I know she oh, get oh, the yeah, yeah, bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. I, know I can't that. wait to trick That's off one of these young niggas. That's why I know he spent six figures already. I know he got six figures. She tell that nigga, nigga, shut up, nigga. I'm gonna say this though. I'm gonna say this for young cat. I got the bill. You nut ass nigga. Let me give you young cat, nigga. Let me give you young cat. I'm gonna take you on your first yacht. You nut ass nigga. Did people tell you that? I'll take you on your first yacht. You fuck is mad. Which I was on the yacht when I was in Vision Quest. I heard you. Fuck is you talking about? That nigga was on a fucking panel yeah. boat. Tell me that was on the yacht back in Ocean Quest. They definitely took off panel boat. I've been to Miami Waters in the 90s, nigga. In the 90s. She talked heavy to you, nigga. Vision Quest niggas been paddle boats. I've been on yachts, nigga. That's a lie. Vision Quest niggas been paddle boats. That's a fact. Vision Quest went to paddle boats. That's a fact. Vision Quest never went to a yacht. They would have took you wild niggas on no yacht. Yeah, fucking I was in Vision Quest. I heard, he uh -oh. I heard him and uh -oh. his celly made a little prison boat up, up <laughs> there. <laughs> I've been on the yacht, I heard y'all both was in the cell taking baths in the prison boat. It's <laughs> nothing wrong with tricking. I encourage all of the fellas I'm gonna home to trick. Young, I'm going to give you young bucks the game. I'm going to give them the game. Give, give it to them. All you young bloods out there. Listen, mm. let me teach y'all how, how, how to be a sugar daddy. Mm. Right? Mm. I'll show you some real, some real shit, right? Uh -huh. It's cheap. Mm. See, a lot of these women... See, some women understand it. Like, a lot of women be battling against each other with the drip. Mm. All that design. It don't even be for the dude. They ain't trying to catch you. They trying to, you know, they battling with these girls. They got beef with, a secret mm. beef with. True. Or they trying mm. to catch up True. with young bloods. They, so it don't even have nothing to do with us. Mm -hmm. Because one thing about us, us men, all she need is a pair of fashion over tights on, and we, we done. Yeah. Mm. Y'all, so to the bras that don't know, for the bras that's trying to catch mm. up. Not the bras. I mean, for the chicks that's doing too much. <laughs> so no, what you say? That. So what you say? You no, throw no, on some fashion no, over no, no, and it's no, over, no. huh? No, no. <laughs> Give us some fashion over and it's over. Uh. Let me explain something to you uh. young cats. Uh. Fashion over from Air Force One, she bodied up. Uh. It's a wrap. <laughs> Make it rain. Fuck I'm telling you, that's about. all Make you, you need. Listen, that's, that's wrong all. With listen, you, listen. You tell her, baby, you know what? I'm going to do something special for you today. Put that car down. Mm. Let a while out of fashion over. Bitch they spent about be, 400. Listen, bitch got a year's worth what? of clothes. All body work. It, and it's for you too. Because it's all. Go right to the joint. One of them joints. Finish line. Foot locker. 
Let him Air Force Ones it. Give him every, well, give him 10 pair. Let me just say something. Let me just say something. Well, give him 10 pair. Let me just say something. Let me just say something. I love Air Force Ones, though. Hey, you know he spent six figures, too, bro. Let me just say something. Let me just say something, though. What? How you just go buy a bitch 10 pairs of Air Force Ones? <laughs> I would like, like 10 pair of Air Force Ones. Small feet. I love Air Force Ones. I like Air a Force bitch. You go, you go to, a, for the you go to a bitch crib. You, you know, go in the closet. All the bitch twice. got is Air Force I'm Ones. By them. Bitch, who is you, G Herbo? A, I yeah, had yeah. three pair of Air Force Ones right now. This now. bitch, no, she no, Herbo. She, she Herbo. The bitch, she Herbo. Oh, if she can't, her name Kiki. She really? Kiki Herbo. What the fuck is Air, wrong? Why don't white Air Force they Ones are vital to a woman's closet in the summer? Are we serious? Let me just tell you something. But you had some high top black ones on, and that's a motherfucker. You was a fucking lie. Bubblegum show. You are the bubblegum fucking show. You was out of pocket. You had some. Tell these people that's black. a fucking bubble lie. Gun. They had the bubblegum soap. Your first sneak when you came home was a black on black. Those are for people that work at McDonald's and kitchens. I would never black wear black, black on black. I ain't had no black on black. And shout out to all you like fathers. That we, the baby moms, we not low. Y'all niggas love to buy black on black sneak because you want that bitch to last for six months. Buy your child a white pair of sneak, you broke bastard. Uh, well, listen, I'm going to just say this. Though. black on black hot top. We hate when they bring <laughs> with the home gum black sneak. We hate yeah. when that yeah. happens. Y'all always drop off all black sneak for your daughter. You can't do what the Rasheed Wallace is on. Wallow, you's a damn liar. Hey, with the strap hanging. Hey, she had the strap hanging. She had the strap hanging. Like, no, that's the plan. She and she had a bust open. You gotta be a she certain a type of psycho to wear a black bust and black. open. <laughs> That's a Straight day. Up. Yeah, you niggas know that's a joke. I'm just saying, no, though. We playing, see me dance. In here I'm just saying, we playing. Shout out to the but scumbags. This one, but listen, you are what you wear. We playing. You ain't had no okay. high top Air Force One, but you did have some Tims with no leather at the yeah, top. You did, oh, you did have some butt niggas on, and you had them bust the open. Yeah, shout out to all the looters that had to get the butt niggas. Y'all was getting anything. Half of that shit was bullshit. <laughs> they, they, had, they still got them? What? These niggas had the worst shit for sale. Y'all did a shitty job, Lucas. Stop being me. I don't want no butt niggas. Butt naked, the fat felines that look like no, Motion 800. Don't nobody wear that oh, shit. Oh, time out, time out. Butt naked is a hustler's classic. Where they got them at? I will not allow you <laughs> or just, help you. I just you. want some for the cause. I just want to get a pair for the cause. It ain't, a, it ain't nothing. You come here you with some butt You might as well get a state boot. Nigga, you want a state boot? You on the strip for yesterday. I just want to get a pair on the he strip for yesterday. He want an upstate boot. Hey, let me ask y'all a question. Is, a, is attention a new money? What? Facts. What? Sure. Because I'm going to keep it all the way I got the craziest motherfucking, I got the craziest motherfucking text message ever, man. My motherfucking aunt 64, man. No, she didn't. My aunt sent me a motherfucking picture, man. Told me, man, post me up, man. Throw your aunt up. What the fuck? No, she didn't. <laughs> no, she didn't. No, she didn't. No, what she was the picture? What was she doing in the picture? Not the duck lip. No, it was like half duck lip. She took post your auntie up. For what? Auntie. What's she selling? What the fuck? Right. I think what you want a young nigga come through and blaze you? Like I don't understand what you what you what you trying to do. You trying to go fetch here? Daddy. Like, but it's like I got to the realization that attention is bigger than money. Y'all everybody, changes. every I don't give a fuck how old she is. I don't give a fuck Damn. how everybody is. Give me a shout out. Throw me that up. Light for what? Hey. What you selling? Social media is social media is to be social, but it's also like. If you know somebody got a business page and they and they operating off of there on the business tip, what, what what is you trying to get thrown up for? What is you selling? Like my whole thing, why you want props with no paper? Like you want props with no plan. Like what is your plan to get thrown on? You want to post with no purpose. Let's uh, So what is your whole purpose? Like shout me out. Why am I shouting <coughs> you out? What do you do? Like what is going on? Like what did you? Oh, you just want to be people to say, oh yeah, I was. What the? What do that matter? Like what type of time we living in? Attention. Period. Everybody just want attention. I did it don't a matter father. what type of attention. You just want to be seen. Negative or positive. I did what a Father's the? Day event. I had people lined up to shoot their shot to get on Million Dollars Worth of Game. Number one, I can't get you. I can't. That's him. Number yeah, two. She barely the fuck on here. Listen, Y'all better one chill the fuck one out. Fell out. But when people, the, the, the thing that stuck out to me the <laughs> most. They shoot they shot at you. Out of, out of the people that, the thing that stuck out the most was these people were serious and they like real intense talking to me, but nobody had anything to say. So what I kept having to say to people was when I say to Gil and Wallow, yo, this person wants to come on a podcast. What am I saying that you do? What are you going to, no, what do we benefit here. off of you being so they here? Keep no, away but that's I, because you're not going to put the I, effort in. I done had niggas say shit like, yeah, I got to get on that podcast, man. You know, you got to have a real street nigga like me on there. For what? That's exactly what they say. For what? That's exactly everybody what they real say. street. For what? What is you right. like, What is you selling? What is, I know a million street niggas. Like like what is what is your business? Like what is you going to like what is you going to advertise? You just going in to talk about street. We already know about street you shit. Have to I done had motherfuckers call me. Yeah, I'm putting the book out. <laughs> I need to come on your podcast and promote my book. 
No, this ain't that type of party. We don't give a fuck about your book. Right. We, I'm sorry, but we don't give a fuck about like your at book. At all. We don't want to read it or fuck see it or talk about. about it. Matter of fact, bitch, I got a book coming the fuck out. Okay. Wallo got a fucking book that's Wallo already book out. Just drop copy. We ain't even mentioned this nigga's book. You can ship hey, it I to the jail. He yeah. on the show. We ain't even mentioned this nigga's this, book. Yeah, hey, go get you Wallo's book. I got twenty five of them. Fuck about what we no get? book. What, I got hundred of them. Wallo? <laughs> yes, yes, you did. Shout out to Tony Cruz. He got a hundred copies, and he's gonna be giving them away to fans. No, no, let me tell you something. That was some legendary shit. This nigga, he bought a hundred copies, man. Yeah, you know I mean, hundred copies of what? You know what? Fuck that. Wa- oh, Wallo joined the Rona proof. Yeah. He only he joined the Rona proof today. You know what I mean? Yeah, joined Rona proof yeah, yeah, yeah. today, hey, nigga. Wallo, fuck is wrong with you? Look at Wallo. Like he like how much is that shit again? Twenty six hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, hundred books. So I want to make sure I show love to your people, man. So somebody that can't afford it, you know what I mean? Tony, I'm just gonna buy the books. I'm gonna buy the books. He gonna have them? Nah, you just keep them. You just give them away. That's, you get them hundred books. Can we right. ship so those to the one, jail, guys? The books. Nah, oh, but, just, well, let me yeah. tell you something. Tony just hit bam. He just told the truth. Can we ship them to the jail? Tony just told the truth. What? He don't give a fuck about your book. He said, "Yeah, get that shit to somebody <laughs> else." <laughs> he didn't even say, "Send them, send me one." And then he said, "Oh, I keep all the motherfuckers." He don't give a fuck about the book. Nah, nah, nah. He said, "I don't give a fuck about the mind of Wallow." Mute his mic. You got to take it off. Send them to the jail. This nigga's the worst. He said, "I don't give a fuck about the mind of Wallow." But I give a fuck about the grind of Wallow. I support. And the shine of Wallow. But the shine of Wallow. Like that, baby. Man. That's what's so up, So you though. got 100 free books to just give away? I got 100 out, free books let's to give away. Let's send to the prison. Let's up, send man. some to the prison. So attention to, is the new money. I'm going to give some and all that. Okay, right. that's what's attention up. Attention is the new money. No, but I, I heard you, you know, I, pre, I pre-read some of your shit. It's, it's hot, though. I ain't going to lie, though. You doing your thing in that motherfucker. Oh, that was cute. Yeah, give me a hug. Give him a hug. You don't it's do cool to hug. Give him a hug. You don't do that. Let me tell you something, State. It's cool to hug. You better stop. Give him a hug. Go ahead, give him a hug. He said I had a flashback. What the fuck? I didn't mean to do that, cuz. Hey, dog. I didn't mean to touch you like that. I really did. That something just got away. Something took away. My bad. I was always playing around. Yo, she want to see you taking advantage of. I know. That was just sweet. You said you was proud of your little cousin. That was sweet. Give him a fucking hug. Stop. Hey, dog. Stop. Up. All right, right now, come on now. Stop now. That's how you used like to this. do Ricky Minaj. I know. No, used to like he used to be like, Ricky, just calm down. <laughs> never say that That's shit. Just have some direction. If you know what you want to do, have some direction, some type shit. of purpose to it. Stop asking for favors. Put some work in. People see that, and then they help you faster when they see you working Yeah, you just doing it. Yeah. And let me add, so so attention is definitely the new money. Fuck For it, sure. 100%. Attention is worth more than money to people out here. They don't, that's all they want. They don't want no money. Look they just want to be on the gram. They don't want no money. People are people will go that far for attention. I got, you got bills to pay and all that. You just you gotta, you gotta understand how to leverage attention, though. I think yeah. that's the biggest mistake. You gotta know how to monetize to attention. Yeah. You you gotta do both. I mean, like the, obviously, when I came on here, man, everybody and their mama know what Rona Proof is now. I'm yo, I'm in the bank this morning. Yo, you want a million dollar worth of game? Me fuck your bitch. I'm like, God damn, I'm in the I'm yeah, in, the in the bank. But 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 the reality of like other side of America, business, it, yeah. Yeah, you ain't shit either. All right. <laughs> Say that to this man. <laughs> well, yo, so many people took the ass to stand if you took ass to the other side of America. Hey, it's all good. That but be a but that other side of America got like so that. much visibility now. So Absolutely. if you know how to get use the attention properly, you're wrong. Oh, so you telling bro. me if you could do it again? If he could pop your bra to get the attention no. to oh, monetize shit, it, no, would you do that again? No, nah, that's a one time go, bro. I'm oh. just saying if you had to take it back. Nah, because I already tightened my shit up. So if I had to, right. like, the perfect situation happened. I took my L and kept it moving. You know what I mm-hmm. mean? Mm-hmm. And, and just the reality of the attention that it brought, you know what I mean? The whole business went crazy. Rona proof is popping. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we got thousands of people coming in. Right. And I, I want to say this too, though. You know, shout out to Rona proof because. You know, a lot of motherfuckers be DMing me and shit and, and saying, yo, Gilly, that's what's up, man. Tony showing us really how to get some money. I got some shit lined up. I appreciate y'all. Yo, that was, so that's the reason why, you know, we'd be, we'd be like, no, nah, Tone, come down. You feel what I'm saying? Because you really giving motherfuckers game on the real estate aspect of this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I done seen it, I, I done seen it with my own eyes and I done witnessed motherfuckers from the first episode to now. Niggas is really like talking about they about to close deals and shit. Bro, no, we got we got people from the podcast already that got paid. So from the first podcast where everybody made that, oh, meek fucked your bitch. Yo, niggas came, took my training. And then got cashed out already. It's two dudes who got like eight plus thousand already. Right. From from watching the podcast a couple weeks ago. So yeah, 
Y'all, y'all had the joke, but not nah, the joke was the fact that now people know how they can get paid right now where everybody's struggling to make money. So like, y'all, y'all come on and pull up, we're on the proof. Absolutely. All right, so let me ask y'all a question, man. What's the top five slow songs of all time to get some yabba dabbas too? Now this for some older motherfuckers. <laughs> Cause the young niggas now they'll fuck you off Lil Dirk. Dirk. They'll yeah. fuck off Lil Dirk and Lil Baby. Uh huh. They're big. Yeah, 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 we pay. Yeah, 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 we pay. I know they. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. But see, back in the you day, back in the day, you know, you used to have to blaze a bitch to a slow song. You had to blaze yeah. the shit out of her to a, you know. No, but I, I, I ain't gonna front. I, 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 I wax some ass. How do you want it? <laughs> How do you feel <laughs> growing up? I had the bandana on my head. That's weird. I, mean, I, I was in my And just bag. for the record, he was in prison when that song came out. He no, was no, no, you lying. I wasn't. That came out in 95. I was home. How do you feel? I, I was home. Growing up, I was home. I was home. in a trap game, living in a... <laughs> Hey yo, hey, I love the way you grab and take your dips and poke your ass out. Yo, he, was, like, hey, he was talking to a nigga named Kevin the, the Stallion. I love the way you grab and take your poke your ass out. That was no name back then. Yes, she was. No, it, first of all, you, all the names was before name. Just because she came out with Megan the Stallion, it was a nigga named Kevin no, the Stallion. No, it wasn't. And you was locked the fuck up with him. No, it wasn't. And he was a he used to he used to dunk on niggas and used to up the up in the yard and then he used to dunk on him. No, fuck, I didn't. A little weird, oh, activate you your hips and poke your ass man. out. He was like, that song did not come out. I was in jail. <laughs> jail. No, I and I'm glad you out. exposed yourself. You was out. You <laughs> know we was out. <laughs> yeah. We was the fuck out. No, I was right. out. Yeah. We both was out. No, I, 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 what the fuck you mean? I never went in for only for 10 days. You talking about we both was out. That's no, how you say you're lying. I was home for that, bro. I was home, y'all. Don't let him lie on me. That's crazy, man. I was home for that shit. That's crazy, man. I was really home for that shit, man. You just really exposed yourself, huh? I did, man. Nigga lost his virginity Listen, in prison. You got classic songs, man. Like uh, you got you got a uh, Secret Garden. You got Last Year. Hold on, hold on, play. hold on. I think, oh, I think just me and you, just oh baby. Oh, don't, yes, worry don't worry about Tony. Don't worry about Johnny. Don't worry about a damn thing. Just me and remix? you. I don't know the song. Don't know the lyrics. So I just put the lyrics. Some shit. Hey, there. you got you got to put that uh, Jodeci in there. Always. Yeah. What freaking, you, freaking you? Freaking you? What? Silk, freaking it's you. a meeting in my bedroom. Absolutely. There's a meeting in my bedroom. bedroom. That was a, anything Take a Janet. Janet Shorty, Janet Janet Anita Baker. Bedroom. Anything. Anytime, any place. So, girl, don't be late. What about if only for one night? Fuck yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's for our parents. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gil telling his age, yeah, 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 you fuck yeah, yeah, yeah. your hand I'll up, fuck Hey, listen, I don't get fucked. 12 play, hey, though, 12 for play. sure. R. R. Kelly, 12 R. Kelly, oh, come uh, on, man. He, but we, well, R. Kelly yeah. not canceled over here, He's, man. I, didn't I say still he was get canceled. fucked with R. Kelly. Oh, you do? Yeah, I like R. Kelly. And I like the song about the signs. Gil was in R. Kelly's house. Was he playing his music when you was in there? Oh, with shit. He was playing a lot of music. Well, I'm saying, we was, was he playing recording. his music when he was in there with you? We was you recording. Was I actually did a song with R. Kelly. Did you? Yes. Did he play 12 play when you was in there in the studio? R. Kelly's very talented. No, I'm just saying you fell asleep what? in the studio. Or I'm just asking, did he? He likes the music, pussy. When you young woke pussy, up, no, 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 he, no, no. When you woke up, what was he? Was he was twelve play playing when you woke up? I'm just, I'm gonna just say this. I'm gonna just say this. Was there any I'm young girls in the fucking I'm house? Out there. The I'm not saying nobody done that, but hey. uh, Gilly got slipped the roofie in R. Kelly house. I don't know who done it. <laughs> Did I'm they saying. call you for an interview for the sleep. documentary? Whoa. Whoa. Did you see any young girls? Hey, first of all, let me just tell you something. You did. You got slipped the roof. <laughs> let me just tell you something. I'm not saying nobody done it. Twelve Play was his favorite song in prison. No, did wasn't. you see any that young was, girls? That was that was out one. That was you out come to <laughs> myself for fun, too. <laughs> <laughs> Commissary got honey buns. <laughs> 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 you fucking lying on me, man. I, no, 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 that was that was out way before I went to jail, man. <laughs> That nigga was three tonight. I'm gonna show you how to read. Yeah. Ah! Four. <laughs> Lie down on our floor. Five. <laughs> you lied to me, man. Don't do it. Make sure the guards don't look hey. inside. <laughs> Six. You lied. So dude, come on, man. That was how we told hey, you. Hey, hey, R. Kelly, hey, R. Kelly got a lot of uh, lot, lot of babies born. But he's Seven. Laying on the lawn with Sean. Eight. 
Feel me thing. It's so warm night. <laughs> Yo, you fuck that up. Don't, don't do that, man. I squeeze it from behind. Yeah. No, I'm just fucking Yo, no, come on, man. Just, you got people thinking I was getting busy in jail, man. Don't do that. Take that shit. You, you, you was part of the busy no, the boys. Was, I'm fuck out of here. You was part of the BBs. The what? The busy boys. I never heard of them. I never heard of them. Don't do that. Don't do that shit, man. Don't do that. I never heard of them, man. Don't, I never heard of them, man. Hey, listen. So, top five. Soap songs of all time. You definitely got to put- It's hard, it's hard. That's your whole You can't get five, man. Janet Jackson, anytime, any place. Top five. That's for the eccentric yeah. bitches. That's you. chill. No, not no less chill. Tony, Tony, Tony big ass and anytime. Fire and Desire, Rick James, Tina Marie. Any no. Place. Nobody gets up to Fire and Desire. I don't want you around. Tony the Tackler. <laughs> Tony, Tony the Tackler. <laughs> That'd been his name in jail. Tony the Tackler. He'd have been tackling. What you say? He'd have been his joke. Hey, yo, ain't nobody playing football. You you in the cell. What you doing, man? Like, why you just tackling no, me? No, nigga, I wasn't in there. Totally no. the tackling. That was you in there, had, not me. He did that little bit. Oh, that's totally the clack tackling. <laughs> he tackling. <laughs> so, yo, what's going on, son? Why you tackling? <laughs> I'm taking this shit. Oh, no, no. Uh, you know I got that. What's the joint the football players get? I they cannot hit? think of this song. CTE. You know I got CTE. Don't worry about it. But I'm naked. You tackle me with the toilet. He can come through the sheet. <laughs> Like, Yo, what's going on? Get that shit over there. Hey, look, he can't help me. He want to touch on niggas. Niggas always want to wrestle. Nigga always want to wrestle. Shout out to the niggas that always want to wrestle. Yeah, be. Niggas always want to get physical. And I want to say something. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I want to say something to the. Don't bump into this pony. I want to say something to the young boys out there, right? I'm going to say something to y'all. Damn. I want to holler at one of my homeboys that's in the penitentiary. I stopped past his crib to holler at his folks. And his little sister was here like, I gotta holler at you. I said, what's up? She 21. She said, uh, back in the day, was y'all just like all in love with y'all homies? I said, oh, what the fuck is you talking about? No, that ain't my type oh, of thing. Yeah. They, I said, she told me some. why is these dudes out here just in love with they homies? They just gotta be up under, under they homies. They homies, my bro, my bro. I said, I, you know. I'm you a, noticed that? Listen, I noticed listen, that. Listen, I, but getting it from a young lady perspective, I'm like, mm -hmm. damn, that's how you She said, like, what's up? Is niggas gay? Like, what's they going on? They show more love to men like, than women. They fascinated with being around the bros. Yeah, and they mean the girls. I'm like, what the f I, I didn't know she gave me the game. I'm like, what you mean? She's like, listen, all they want to do is be around <clears> their <throat> bros. My bro, my bro, my bro. I'm sitting, and, and she's a nice looking young lady. I'm like, oh, well, it might be, it might be a Spice brother. No, that's, it's common. And then even with like, what they post, like they'll post them and their male friends with hearts and stuff like that. And then what? every post about a girl will be negative. These bitches, where did that come from? Where did that come from? I, the I think it comes from- fuck you mean they post their homies up with, with hearts. hearts? Listen, first of all, we know some rappers that came out that would call each other love, beloved, you know, like lover and stuff like that. No, forget the no, rapper. We, we talking, talking about, about like that's what it trickles down when the popular people do it, like rappers, people that look people look up to, then regular niggas start doing it. But yeah, like people put they'll put a picture up of them and all they niggas and they'll hard eye it and say I love you and stuff like that. Hard eyes. No. Seriously, I see it all the time, and they the same guys. I'm that, not posting a picture with you. Neither one of you would know. You know what else they say on the that. sexual side? They'll say. I don't even want to fuck. I just want here. I don't even want to like. I don't know. It looks very strange. And for us girls, we look at y'all like y'all gay. Let me tell you. Let me just say something. As a young and I always had a group of niggas that I always hung with. But I was different. I always had a set of buns I was going to go get with it's, as well. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Because. You but know, hold on, hold on. I, I just, just want to say something. When we used to go rob people, I would tell you I love you, cuz. Like I would be like, damn, cuz I love you. Snake a while, very it, physical. I'm not very touching. I'm not physical. It's like hot that. outside. You just gotta like, come on, man. I'm just saying. You know, black people get no, tension. Only reason to I'm eat. just trying to see what happened to you when you was in the joint. That's why you reacted like that. Stop touching him, cause y'all gonna fight. That little fight. time you did down the no, county. Dog, I'm not keep used your hands to no see niggas yourself. touching me, man. Like you keep your hands to yourself. I'm your cousin. Yeah, but it's like you trying to like, don't rub my shoulders. What you think? I'm trying to. You trying? I'm trying to touch you. I don't know. I'm just saying with your reaction sides. saying something happened to you when you but was down the no, county. No, it don't. It just say that somebody did something. You, you putting your hands somebody on Somebody did something to you, cuz. No, man, no. Dog. Or when you was hugged up with R. Kelly, did you say guy. anything to R. Kelly right, when listen, he was in his house? You had a situation where <laughs> you was hugged up? <laughs> and you, somebody slipped your roof and you went to sleep? And you woke up 12 hey, let's get playing? to our next sponsor. Come on, I'm let's just saying. Let's get to our next sponsor. Next sponsor. Our next sponsor is ShipStation. Now, one thing about ShipStation, no matter which type of platform you're on, what you're doing, ShipStation is convenient to do a thing and get you where you need to go. I'm talking about all your packaging. I'm talking about the simple. It bring everything into one interface. I'm talking about it don't matter if you're on Amazon, wherever you at, man. I'm talking about they will. I'm talking about ShipStation will really is affordable. I'm talking about easy way to manage your shipping order, just a few clicks, and you'll be able to manage your orders. I'm printing mm -hmm. out labels and getting your product to happy customers. Uh -huh. ShipStation is everything. You know, my motive. I'm talking about like. Yo, I'm talking about the whole thing is like this. At the end of the day, April use ship station. I use it. Ship the book, you know, so it's like 
is just gonna be the like it's just everything. It's easy. It's real. It's, I'm talking. About, it's it's real simple. I'm talking. About no matter if you're using Amazon, SD, your own website, ShipStation, bring all your orders in a simple interface, making them really easy to manage from any device. I'm mm -hmm. talking about any device, even your cell phone. So that's what's so good about this, man. But at the end of the day, what you need to do with ShipStation, you need to hit up ShipStation.com. Right? Go to ShipStation.com. Use the code code game. Right? Code use code game. game free for 60 days when you use the cold game make sure your business is ready to meet the demand of delivery culture so listen get on ship station man check them out man use the cold game they're gonna take care of you man and it's just like that all right well all right all right i, feel like I need something like that well, man all right. uh the nba coming back what y'all think about that you don't really care. You're not a sports. See, no, I'm no. You're super a sports excited. Guy. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a real sports, a spicy. This is a spicy sports question. What? Listen, no, I'm just saying. Like, like you know, you fascinated with sports. You fascinated with uh, LeBron and all them dudes. If LeBron, listen, if if LeBron had Corona, would you let him post you up? What the fuck? No, I'm just saying. Like, like the fuck. If, no, if, what the fuck are you talking about? No, because you fascinated oh, with this, you weird. fascinated with sports players. <laughs> like you fascinated with this what shit. Is he trying you to argue? Say? No, no, no. He argued with men about men. <laughs> He's a sports fan. I'm a sports fan. No, he but cried no, when too the much of a sports won. fan. You too much. You're a spicy sports fan. Like what? this shit is like more personal. You got to you got more you got you got you got a, a little bit over a platonic relationship with these athletes. Like your whole approach and your whole look at them is just be like, "God damn." He did. Like I'm talking about his joint right. is real spicy. Let me just say this, out. right? The NBA is back. If what's your favorite team? Sixers. I'm Lakers. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Whoever won the chip the year before. What the fuck? Wow. I, don't even, I don't even mess with winners. Laker he's, game, he's a dick holster. Oh, yeah. I only mess with What's winners. your favorite team? So, he my, said. The Sixers, of course. Okay. Okay, so. Duh. If, he's a Sixers if, cheerleader. If, 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 okay, Sixers, Lakers. Say if the Sixers and the Lakers went to the finals, right? That's a dub. If, if, if. He's talking about that's a dub. If you had the power <laughs> to sprinkle COVID on LeBron and AD. Nobody dying, right? Wow. Nobody's dying or nothing. Just for just for just for 14 days. Money. They got to be out for 14 days. Wow. Right? They symptomatic A though. Ain't nothing going to happen to them. They just got to sit out. Is you sprinkling COVID on LeBron and AD? Of course. And AD? Oh, so I'm you giving LeBron. Cuz that don't count though. Somebody got to sprinkle the white. That don't count too. though. Shut because, them both cuz. That you don't gotta count. Seal the deal. The nigga but might still, still try to lose, play. So, so let me ask you a question. Still wouldn't win. So, so let me ask you I get the white too. Let me ask you a question. So you do anything to get the Sixers a chip. You fucking right. That's what he'll do. He's he's vicious Fucking like that. Right. I was sprinkling his Lakers wife players, too see to him, seal it up. Don't fuck with him. So just in yeah, case man. he was asymptomatic and he could still play, his wife would be so sick that he wouldn't play to take care of his wife. I feel like LeBron's like that. He would stay home for his wife, so I would sprinkle his wife too. But listen, seal now. It down. They're not going to die. They're just sick so we could get this shit together. Let me just say you this, though. Can you imagine a fuck up though. a raid? Philly, we go off. <laughs> okay? It's not going to be like that, though. You know why? There's gonna be arguments forever. LeBron was a plan. That shit don't count. I don't give a fuck. Man, we say what they want, bro. We you got it. We just gonna take a corny we one win like yeah, that. We're taking that's it. That's bullshit. We're taking it. This is matter, too, so we need. We deserve it. It was a bum. Like we deserve it. So you can sprinkle. You can sprinkle the COVID on on Ben Simmons and Joel and B. Nah, we gonna whoop y'all ass anyway. We don't need to sprinkle. No, y'all not. No, the fuck. We don't need to sprinkle. Now, first of all, first of all, let me just tell you something. No sprinkle. Don't ever play with Muda Fuka. <laughs> you know who Murifuka is? Joel Embiid Murifuka. <laughs> the best big man in the NBA Murifuka. AD. All right, cool. AD, bro. AD, cool, too. That's my guy. So we, we ain't going to beef yeah, about that. Yeah, we ain't going to beef about We're not going to beef about that. But how you feel about the NBA coming back? Y'all loving it? Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see sports back, man. It's just like right now, ain't nothing else going on. Yeah. Right, because I'm gonna keep it all the way real. The months that no fucking sports was, he was on, losing his mind. What did you? He do? was getting hot flashes. I'm gonna keep it all the way real. That was like some of the that shit was like <laughs> some of the worst moments ever. Like, look at him. That shit was like because there's no sports on. So now you interacting with your woman more. Everything is is shit get intense, man. <laughs> it's just, it's just it's too many. It was a rough time. It, it was too many. It's too many hours on hours of nothing going on, and just you and your lady right there. And it's like y'all turn that shit into like two pit bulls and shit. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Because 
you just especially when you've been together for as many years as us because it's like it's the more the more years you be together the more y'all get closer but y'all really get further away like y'all y'all love each other more but y'all hate y'all know each more. other bullshit right so it'd be like you know i know toot don't woke up sometimes and look over like see me go shit he's still fucking breathing <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm saying so nah. yeah she did trust me so um but Ron, that Rona shit, man, and no sports, and that shit was rough. Man. What do y'all think about everybody rushing back out? Because rates are rates are going back up. Philly versus Atlanta just looked this just looked real Corona. Yeah, what y'all thought about the Philly versus Atlanta shit? Yeah. I was watching from the internet. It looks really so know. fun. Everybody looks so cute, but bro, I don't everybody know how. Everybody looks so sick today too. I Yo, think like I don't know Corona. how that was like. They how said, was that they cool? They said they put it on there just yesterday. They have four. A person said. What was the club? Opium? Yeah, two people. That was four down. people. They said, the girl said, four people that I know that was at Club Opium got the coronavirus. So please, if you was at Opium, Club Opium, go get, and tested. Go get tested. Everybody was at Club Opium. Great. Right. Everybody. I was in Club Opium before. It was turned up in there. Fresh out the joint. Okay. I was That's down pretty there. pretty cool. Yeah. Did you enjoy yourself? Get you back into society. Yeah, I was happy as shit in there. Shawshank Redemption. Saying. Let's get in a million dollars worth of game. So the, this guy hits me up, right? He says, Gilly, my girl told me she needs some space, but I feel like if I give her space, a new nigga may get her. Man, what am I going <laughs> to do? I'm going crazy. Let me tell you something. If your woman already asking for space, that's already because the dicks and move moved in her place. Yeah. You hear me? She already getting arm and hammered, player. It ain't no secret to this. Let me tell you something. One thing about a woman, you so okay, she asked you for space, you ain't even said you did nothing wrong. Why the fuck would you anything cool and then one day she just like, I think I need some space. You always call him with my new nigga. With my no, new nigga. <laughs> she needs some space because she done met a nigga. Yes. She think better. the grass is green on the other side of the fence. He probably, you probably ain't got the big goofy ass sneaks young boy got. He young boy Blitz probably got the big goofy <laughs> ass sneaks and all that. You probably ain't got all that. She think the grass green. He probably got him a little whip. No, she, she, yeah. so she gives her, she, she shows he shows her more attention than you. No, she, ain't got he, nothing. He eats ass Let me just, and you no, don't. no, 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 no. Let me just tell you something. Meek ain't show Tony bitch no attention. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's just the reality of it. Shut up. It ain't up. got nothing to do with attention. Y'all like what y'all like, even if it's the wrong motherfucker to like. Y'all could know a nigga a dog, and y'all want to try to turn a nigga to a cat. But you know what? He been burying his bone in bitches' backyards for decades. No, but you know what I realized, <laughs> though? This nigga is fucking No, crazy. some real shit. And, and just do the math out there, especially to the young people out there, <coughs> young, the young, young cats, young girls. Do the math out there. Even any of you grown motherfuckers. It seemed like in life, especially where we come from, the inner cities of America, motherfuckers love who don't love them in hopes that one day they'll love them. Mm, mm, talk mm, heavy, nah, nigga. That's some that's shit right there. On some real shit. It's like motherfuckers is infatuated with getting shitted on first. Yo. Like, like uh, are going for the chase instead of getting with somebody that really fuck with them. You know what I mean? Instead of saying, you know what, let me find a motherfucker that really love me and I grow to love them. No, people love to go through the bullshit. They love, they, you know, they love what they think is the, is what's going on with everybody else. Right. And a lot of times you might see a, a, a young cat or you might see a young girl, whatever, in a relationship, and they're just reliving what they seen take place with their mama. Right. Or they aunt or whoever raised them in the house. A young girl likes they love going through the dumb shit. And some of you young cats, I didn't have you as get young cats in my DM. Damn man, I really feeling it, but it seemed like she So you got a lot of question. women out here to hold up. You got a lot of women out here that be fighting love. Mm. Like you got a lot of love fighters out here. And a lot of dudes too, because they, they never experienced and they and it don't feel right to them. So a lot of times you have and then you have motherfuckers, they just love dumb shit. Yeah. Because that's they seen their sister go through dumb shit, they seen mm -hmm. their mom go through dumb shit, they seen their girlfriend go through dumb shit. So, Playboy, if you ain't bringing them no dumb shit, they don't like that shit. Right. The drama, they having stressed out, not, not answering your texts and them going through it, they want to pull up on all that goofy shit. You got people that they fascinated with goofy relationships. Uh -huh. So you got to get a goofy relationship uh, 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 radar. I'm coming out. They coming out next week. Uh, uh, the the Wallow and Gilly Goofy Radars called 1995 where you just go past Goofy, Goofy, and you get away from them. Right. 
And 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 hold What's on. Real and shit? to all the women out there, stop passing down whorage. Why are you looking at me? I'm just saying because you only fuck the women here. <laughs> <laughs> no, you but, making shit up, whorage. Uh, right. I stop passing down whorage. No, no, I want to no, ask you no, something. No. When you tell them, when you tell them guys that, would you tell them that to the try to teach her love, or would you say just stay nah. away from? No, her no, 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 no. Listen, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Some people. Their alarm clock come on differently and they got to go through life experience to get to that destination. Yeah. So sometimes if you got time, so be it. If you don't, so be it. But And I'm going to say something to the young boys too mm -hmm. and everybody out there and the grown ass men. It's okay to love a woman. It's okay to, you know, love out loud. It's cool. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it. You ain't going to die. Yeah. Ain't nobody, fuck what everybody got to say about you. It's cool. Right. Don't Talk be, heavy. No, I'm just saying because everybody's so caught up in this, this tough shit yeah. and it's trying to front for the gram and this, that, and third. Uh, yeah. If you love her, tell her that. Because mm -hmm. one thing about women, they love when you love them out loud. Mm -hmm. They love that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The sex is different. Anything different. Yeah, your food yes. be hotter. Mm -hmm. All yes, types of shit go down. Mm -hmm. Tell them why. Hey, you know what I mean? Something that you said shit. though, Mo, like we can't be out here trying to fix these chicks either. Right. And they can't yo, be out here yo, trying to fix us. Because uh, I, I, unless I, I, even, I, even me, I was guilty. I was trying to fix what I knew was a hoe. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Did, did you we, know it was a hoe or did you find out? Nah, we. Hey, you as, knew that shit happened. You know what I mean? You but how you know you wasn't a stepping stone? But listen, the whole how you know you were the four S's? It's, it's, it's super cool. stupid stepping stone. Here's the whole thing. I know it's a lot of people that get in a relationship and they try to they try to make that shit be what they wanted it to be. They ain't trying to come into it like and have somebody that organically fits like their life. Nobody, right. nobody like, organically like, fit though. They, 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 that's incorrect. Like, that's like, 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 I'm here another ass nigga. That's my cousin though. It's just it is nah, what it there's is. People that have like but organic, people like, that. just they, they, they vibe. It's with a that. natural vibe. Then there's some people like you just know like it's always like a it's a it's a fight. It's an argument. It's a push. It's, it's a, women out here. In, if in you don't hit them, they don't feel love. Yeah. Seriously, it's, it's women. People, like, I know women. Oh, oh, oh. I know women personally that if you don't. Bust on her head, she don't feel like you love her. I to the point that girls even post it. Like it'll be a meme or it's a joke, but that shit it's a lot of truth in jokes. But you know where that come from? That come from the Watching their mom get so, 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 so when you deal with a, when you deal with That's somebody, sick. just like if somebody deal with us. You're not dealing with that person. You're dealing with their upbringing the and the trauma that they've been through. Yeah. So yeah. you got to say to yourself, is it worth it? Right. right. Is it worth sacrificing and being here right. or should yeah. I go? That's and, everybody And, and a prime different. example to all the parents out there, stop passing down whorage. That's what I'm gonna tell you. What like the fuck is that? he's saying, stop exposing no. the children. Let, right. Stop letting them see you be a hoe. Right. right. If you're I gonna mean, be a whore, then at least be a whore in private. Right. Oh, but you want to? No, hold on, nigga. You just too. talk for ten minutes. So hold what, on, nigga. nigga. Oh, about you want to keep letting? You want to keep letting? Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. Cool it now. You better slow it down. Hey, hey, fucking five minutes. Motherfucking different nigga running in the house. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mr. Ricky. Hi, Mr. Bobby. Hi, Mr. Johnny. Hi, Mr. Ralph. How I she done seen the whole new edition coming in and fucking bleach you. The same thing. You feel what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, if you gonna be a whore, put some protection on your fucking kids. Right. So they don't, so your daughters don't grow up and feel like, oh, me having, oh, my mom had Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike, but I just got B2K coming through. Like, <laughs> oh, like what the fuck is going on? Like you done passed down whorage right. to your fucking kids. Why you ain't saying to who? Drew Hill, why are you saying? Oh, I'm, okay? I'm just saying because they, so, they I couldn't think of a new group. group. I couldn't think of a new group that no, was, they was like younger. You know, don't know, okay. So at the end of the day, what I'm saying is it just keeps recycling itself. To all you niggas out there, stop passing down the hustle to your fucking kids. Mm. Yup. Yes, sir. Let's talk. You about niggas, it. Man, you niggas want to be hustlers. You niggas want to be busting traps with your kids yeah. in the car. He twelve. You think he don't know what's going on? He don't know what's going on. Right. He see he looking through the window. He see you get out the car. You pass a nigga something. Nigga pass you something. You count the money right, right there. Yeah. You you think he don't know? Like oh, like he knew what was going on by the time he was eight. He got one of these, nigga. He done seen it all. He mm. know about the bloods and the crips. Yeah. He know about titties. He know about getting <laughs> yeah. his dick sucked. He know about how his face supposed to look when he getting his dick sucked. Mm, yeah. Everything. He done seen niggas get the... He want to experience. You done gave him the whole fucking hustle. You talk in front of him. Yeah, nigga, I'm blow the nigga fucking brains yeah. out when I see him in the back like this. Oh, okay, it's cool to blow niggas' brains out. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. So, to all you raggedy education. ass dads out there, prime example, I got shot, right? My motherfucking kids didn't know that I got shot 
until he probably was 18. My son's 20 now. You tell him why. Because I told him daddy slipped and fell yeah. when a nail went through my arm. Yeah. Because what the fuck do I look like telling my 10 year old son, yeah, daddy got no, shot? No, I thought that exactly. was for what's name? I thought that was for marketing. That's some real Your music. Shit. I thought that was a marketing scheme. Telling anybody you got shot. I ain't, oh, I ain't oh, never knew yeah. that was real. Yeah, you know that ass nigga. They said you got shot too. No, if no, daddy that gets shot, you, you got uh, less fear shot. of you getting <laughs> shot. <laughs> it, 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 it becomes more normal to you name, the thought of somebody getting <laughs> shot in the street because your father did. Even like when your parents go to jail, that's why statistically your parents do jail time, you do jail time because it becomes normalized Yeah, me, I, that's how I was. When, when it's far away from you, and I want to be in it. that was smart as fuck to not tell them that. When it's far away from you, it's different. When it's when your daddy gets shot, you get shot. I was like, well, you know, I got shot. But I want to say something to the homies around the country right now. That's crazy. This is one of them wild little moments, right? I'm talking about Philly. I'm talking about Chicago. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about LA. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about uh, Houston, mm -hmm. uh, New Orleans, mm -hmm. Atlanta, New York, mm -hmm. Boston, Pittsburgh. I'm talking about VA, mm -hmm. uh, Indiana, mm -hmm. uh, Detroit. My nigga, this I is fuck this a contest. No, 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 Could you name that. all no, no, the cities? No, no, I wanted to. <laughs> but I want to say something to all you street niggas out there. I know you don't know me, man. But if you fuck with me, you fuck with me. And I need you to pass a message on. Mm. If you out here and you operating in the street game, I need you to do me one favor. And the favor I'm asking you to do for me, you doing it for your family. You know you doing anything in the street game, put some protection on your kids and the women in your family. Stop riding around. If you done put some work in or you done did some slimy shit or some street shit that you know motherfuckers gonna get activated on and they gonna be looking for you, keep them out of the fucking car. Mm -hmm. Cause ain't nobody, I'ma just be straight up. Ain't too many niggas just getting their car shot off for general purposes. Okay. Mm -hmm. You already knew you were, you were operating on some dumb shit. Mm -hmm. So keep the babies out the car. Keep the women out the car. Mm -hmm. Make sure you, you, on some real shit, if you know you out there, you like that, you can't even be going to your mama house. You can't. Because mm -hmm. the motherfuckers, you, you operating with different people out here that's not playing by the laws of the street code. Right. Because like you say, a lot of these cats, ain't they ain't reading the rules no more. A lot of dudes just jumped in the streets. Nobody told them what, what the rules and regulations was. Mm -hmm. So you got motherfuckers out here that will kill your mama, you they will kill your son, they will kill your daughter mm -hmm. just to get that back at you. Because mm -hmm. one of their homies died. Mm -hmm. So all I'm saying is, if you out there, you operate, and I'm not co-signing and encouraging in no shape, form, or fashion. And I hope most of y'all make it out. You see what I'm saying? But if you out there, keep your mama, Keep your sister, your, your, your daughter, your, your, your son, your wifey, whoever, out of the car with you. Stay the fuck away from them. If you're going to get in that, and that's the reality of it. Because mm -hmm. when a motherfucker coming, they shooting. When they, they shooting. Right. Because there's too many of the babies out here and women losing their fucking lives, man. Right. Now, if you, if you, street niggas know women is off limits. Mm -hmm. They know. Kids off the kids limits. Kids is off limits. Like that's the reality. But of these it. young niggas don't Not know no that because they making the rules up as they go along. You can't yeah. listen, man. It's, listen, it's rules to all games. But the sad part is, it ain't no rule in the street game no more because everybody doing it. But it's my duty to tell you because a lot of you cats, the OGs that would have gave y'all the game, they died or they went to the penitentiary, right. so y'all never had access to no right. true and living game. Right. Where motherfucker telling you, you see what I'm saying? And, and, then, a, and a true old head, they ain't gonna put the package to you. They gonna give you away from it. Right. Don't let nobody pimp you. Right. Don't let nobody pimp you out here and don't let nobody have you on a mission stepping up to do some shit that they ain't doing they self because they afraid. You got a lot of scared street niggas out here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you something. You young niggas with a gun, don't be no motherfucking sucker and no crash dummy for a soft, coward ass nigga with money. Mm -hmm. That's some real shit. Right. Because I'm going to tell you something, young blood. You replaceable. Right. After you activate your pistol, you get locked up, the trial is over, you got that life, meaning you got to die, come back, 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 and you still ain't gonna make parole. Mm. Mm. So heavy. before you step up and go out there and do some Rambo shit mm -hmm. for a coward with some money, mm -hmm. think about your moves, young blood. And let me tell y'all young niggas this. If you're gonna let a nigga put the name on you, make sure the name is a businessman, nigga. Don't let the name that a nigga put on you is the shooter. Because all the shooter is is a nigga that's a fucking life is expendable. Mm -hmm. That's all that nigga is. His life don't mean nothing. That's that's what you tell somebody. You advertise to people that's out here. Oh yeah, what's the name of shooter? I'm a shooter. Yeah, I'm a shooter. Yeah, yeah, don't tell nobody no shit like yeah, that. Shooter. That means you're a crash dummy. Right. right. Don't that's tell you motherfucker. Put you in a mission. Dummy. Don't be tight right. on your name yeah. like that. And why would you want that on your name anyway? If that's what you into, keep that right. shit off your name and try to figure out an exit plan. Yo, the street need... game was for for dudes to try to get some money to figure out an exit plan and legitimize their hustle. Right. Now dudes are just like, come on. Once again, you in the streets to make money, not headlines. Right. 
And mm. I'm not encouraging nobody, but if you're going to be out there, you ain't trying to hear this shit. I'm an old nigga. I don't know him, whatever. I'm just telling you, man. I'm, lay, I'm leaving it with that. We need a lot of them young boys to chill the fuck out right now. Like, for real. They need to chill the fuck out. Chicago, it's some of the most deadliest days right now. We having national protests <laughs> trying to get equality, and we can't get the niggas to fucking pay attention to what we got going on for a bigger cause. Right, 100. We, we gotta get. We got. We gotta get. Yeah. We, we gotta get we respect. Can. We we can't even. We can't even like really neutralize our own shit to try to make sure we can be on the same page to get the respect from the white people that we want the equality from. So I think the young boys that's out there right now need to sit the fuck down. Mm -hmm. it, what's so crazy is a hundred and something motherfuckers got shot in Chicago over a weekend. You have a war and a hundred motherfuckers don't get shot in the war over a weekend. Bro, if two a hundred, children, if a, if 100 a hundred, people but, two but kids. we talk about the police and shit. If a hundred niggas got killed over a weekend by police, nigga, it'd be niggas would go crazy. Right, but but that's why that's why I say that if Black Lives gonna matter, it gotta matter all the time. It can't just matter when some injustices is happening to the black communities. That shit gotta matter all the time. You feel what I'm saying? And niggas is out here killing other motherfuckers. Blacks is out here killing other blacks left and right. Like that shit ain't got no no. Niggas don't care. Motherfuckers is just killing motherfuckers. Like, so at the end of the day, if black lives gonna matter, let's make the shit matter all the time, man. And and not just when somebody like George Floyd or, you know, Brianna Taylor. What's her name? Brianna Taylor. Taylor. Yeah, you know, uh, you know, something. Say like her that. name, Brianna Taylor. Right, something. We even get you yeah. Yeah. Nobody, right. Yeah. nobody like, forgot you. You ain't gonna give something like that happened. Right. Like that shit ain't cool, man. You know what I'm saying? So Let's just make Black Lives Matter all the time, man. And uh, let's get into uh, stories from the town. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta admit something, man. On my way out of there prison, you, you were spicy. All right, we no, know. no. On my way out of prison, <laughs> I just want to say some shit. And, and, you know, I thought about it a couple times. I ain't want to put it out there because I ain't trying to be no tough guy. But it was this boy I know, man. He was a crip from uh from out uh, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, right? I knew man. you was gonna say Pittsburgh. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They cripping hard, and uh. We was we was we was all right. We was half as all right, but I don't know if he knew I was going home. He had borrowed the two for three from me on chips, right? <laughs> you know, you give a motherfucker two bags of chips, they give you three back. Comment say they came, the dude ain't come and gave me my chips back. So I'm like, damn. I tell my cellie, yo, is this dude trying to chump me? Is he trying to play me, right? And that shit was always on my mind. Like, damn, I went out of jail. That dude chumped me on my way out of jail. Like I had like three weeks left. I ain't. You got chumped your whole bit. No, I ain't get chumped my whole bit. It Sometimes was a big was, bag of chumps. Was, no, no, it was sprinkles of chump, but I ain't get chumped the whole fucking joint. They said your name up the jail was Lil Chumpy. You fucking lying. This, this kid named Big <laughs> Baby Chumpy and Big Chumpy. Don't do that. Don't put that shit on my name. But what I'm saying was, it, it was crazy because I had to I had to live to see another day. Mm -hmm. I think it wasn't no joke. I ain't saying like I was I was scared. So he burnt you for three bags, two bags of chips. Three bags. He gave me three bags. He burnt you for two bags of chips. And he had them in his bag. You pussy, he was coming son. Back. I was in the like door, my right? New York nigga say, you He pussy, walked past son. with the chips in no, his like bag? No, I'm in the door when he, he walked past the commissary. commissary. When he got his commissary, like he had chips. I was yeah, in the was like this. Like you were supposed to go get them fucking chips. He was like this oh, eating oh, yeah. his chips. If he really yeah. ordered chips, you supposed to go to his hut and ask him chips. I ain't asking for shit. Oh. He said, look, hey, so, so I'm not a coward. Where's my fucking you, shebangs? I love a, shebangs. Did you make a, uh, a decision based off the fact you knew you was going home, you ain't want no smoke that was going to fuck your time up? Or, <laughs> if or, he had another 10 years, he wouldn't ask for them chicks. I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what powered that thought. I'm not going, I'm not, I'm not clear with the moment, but I just, I man, I let, it, the man, fuck man, let it fly. You damn know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you, because you knew you had like a year left and he took your chips, was you going to ask for him or not? Fuck no. I don't know what mind I was in. So I can't really answer that question. You keep blaming it on his mind. I don't know my mind. Personal, no, because I was deep in jail. I was integrity at the time, but fuck nigga, that. You walk past you my not, motherfucking you know, you cell, you got a sneaker in your bag, black bitch. Black I'm coming you, out, you, get my you, fucking sneaker. You, 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 you knew you weren't getting them chips back. Uh -huh. Oh, no, fuck man, that. chips, man. It was only a couple of hours. This I'm not man, fuck lucky. that. Hey, he lucky the nigga ain't take his chips and make him the dip. Man, see, you always talking with some spice, <laughs> trying to slander my name, put smears all on my name. Had you all in there, like the chips mustard. and dips. He trying to get that mustard all chips on my Chips and dips name. with low. This shit wrong. Yo, you wanted to be in jail, Spicy. I know you would have been cellmates with Heyonce. No, you know what? You'd have been cellmates with Penis Williams. <laughs> Lil' Helm and them, watch. You'd have been in there. Did you all. say Penis Williams? Yeah, he'd have been selling me. It's time to wrap it up, fellas. We're going too far. Because uh, no, you know he he giving up some of his, <laughs> some of his old sellies and shit. <laughs> he ain't naming all his old sellies. Lil' him, Lil' him. What the fuck that? Lil' Kim? 
No, nah, man, stop it, man. Huh? That's a fake little kid from no, Lil' Hill. No, no, the nigga no. had 10 years, he still wouldn't ask for the chips back. Y'all no, no, she, no, it was mine. It was about wow. my mind. Because and where I was at. cousins and you love each other. I mean, just because I love you don't mean I show. No, nigga. Fuck is you I'm going to hug you today, though. Yeah, y'all what kind of shit is that you I'm tell a grown ass you, man? You He's a physical person. I'm physical. He I'm, I'm hugging you love today. With physicality. I'm physical, man. It's like it's I mean, nothing wrong with hugging. I don't know what it is. It's just like when I get emotional and that song playing in my mind. Let's get physical. I'm like, damn, let me, like, let me just tell you something. Let me just tell you something, Mona. Can right? I give you a hug, cuz? Grown men don't never say when they hug. They don't never say. They don't ever know. I ne- nigga never asked me for a hug, Mona. What the fuck are you talking about? It's just a slap. Yo, know, what's up, my nigga? Yo, that hug you gave me. Listen, fuck when you came to the picnic, about? that was a decent hug. When you yeah, gave me the hug. I be needing a hug sometimes. I'm just saying. How you remember that? At the end, we should all I'm just saying. You gave me a crazy hug. I can remember a hug from a picnic up the gym. Yeah, I'm just saying. It was a crazy job. Ago, I mean, that's dog. another story, man, but that's cool. At the end, I'm we should all just hug. I'm just saying. That was love. The world needs a hug, guys. Walked away like that. Hug your neighbor while you're watching this. Hug somebody. Come on, let's hug man. Get the fuck out of here. I don't give a fuck. She a woman. She Look at Tony. Tony's yeah. ripped the city up now. Come on. Shut up. Oh, don't call me white girl. I'll call you black girl. They're kinky. They're kinky. I'm going to call you black girl, white girl. I'm going to call you they're black fucking, girl, white girl. They're kinky. Those two, the cousins. Hey, look. Look at my nigga. Listen, man. We're going to get out of here. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. Appreciate y'all, man. week, making us the number one music podcast in the entire country. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. Don't call me white girl. The closer. Yeah. Tony the Tackler. We trying to, get fancy. We yeah. trying to put a little spice on the, 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 the closer. Tony the Tackler. Tony the Tackler. Tony the Tackler. He himself. TTT. I'm telling you, I'm taking the shit. What was oh, no. I cut, you know I got that stuff. I was in the league. TTT. Boy, shit all hanging out. Tony the Tackler. You know what I mean? And it's just like that. Right.